She's bringing a sellout show to New Zealand this comedy fest. Please welcome to the stage, Becky Lucas! Hello! Hello. Hey guys, bit of a gear change. Um, I'm not depressed, but I always... <laughs> I'm not depressed, but I, I always describe my life like one of the, you know when you click onto a kind of shitty Netflix series and you're watching it and you're like, like there's some good bits <laughs> and I will finish it. <laughs> yeah, like I'll see it through, but I will never recommend it to anyone. <laughs> That's my, I don't know, I'm just, I just find things really hard. Like this week I did what I do every week. I bought a bag of spinach and then at the end of the week, I put it in the bin. <laughs> it's like, well, can we just put a fucking bin at the checkout and cut out the middleman? That's where it's going. So I'm sick of trying to optimise like, my life and my looks all the time. Everything's always about like you and improving and blah, 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 and self-care. Everyone's obsessed with self-care. The pressure to self-care makes me want to self-harm. I can't. <laughs> I it's so annoying. And it's used to justify everything. Like, self-care, do it, babe, do it. It's like, it, it, the other day I swear I saw a girl being like, yes, I hit a cyclist on my way to work and kept driving. <laughs> but I've actually managed to move on from that negative energy <laughs> and forgive myself. <laughs> She's like, sometimes self-care is using a bath bomb from Lush. Sometimes self-care is running from the cops, so, you know. <laughs> But I do it all. I buy every product. I love it. <laughs> I buy creams. I buy everything. Just so occasionally someone will go, oh, your skin looks good, and I think it's fucking worth it. <laughs> <laughs> Fuck her. <yeah. laughs> it's bad. And because I care about skincare, now I get targeted things about skincare. Do you know now the new thing is women aren't supposed to sleep on their sides? Yeah, if you sleep on your side, it causes wrinkles. You're supposed to, to lie on your back, right? Because if you sleep on your side, you know, it's like that used to be our one escape. <laughs> sleep was our one escape, and now you've just got to lie there like you're already dead in the coffin. <laughs> it's crazy. That's what being a modern woman is. Like, you can vote, but if you sleep on your side, you're a dumb bitch. You deserve to look bad. <laughs> it's crazy. I was watching the news the other day, and, it, like, in Australia, they've decided that there's not enough statues of uh, women in history, right? So it's an important issue. Uh, and I kind of get it. I, I always think, like, yeah, I didn't learn... I don't really remember learning about women in history. I do remember learning about Amelia Earhart. Um, but I also don't think she was the best one to learn about. Because she was all like, women can fly too, watch this. And, and, and then we just never saw her again. <laughs> But also, mainly, I just think women, women are cool. We don't care about statues. It's a man thing, it feels like. It feels like a, a male urge to need proof of what they've done. That's why you have come. You're like, look, I did that. <laughs> That's all me. <laughs> I always come. No one knows about it. I just go about my day. It's no big whoop. <laughs> I don't like it. And I know you're thinking, what, you don't have proof that women don't like statues? I kind of do, because you never, ever see a woman on the street, painted silver, busking for money. <laughs> we would never do that, it's pathetic. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks, guys, have a great night. See ya. <laughs>